Today, we will learn how to connect a TEF receiver to a computer and make it accessible remotely. This method works with most TEF 6686 chip receivers including homemade, silver Chinese and blue Chinese versions. The server software demonstrated in this video is being improved every day thanks to a group of very dedicated developers. The Discord group where you can connect with them and check the latest build status will be shown in this video. We will show the process in three parts. Part 1 will show you how to prep your computer. Part 2 will show you how to connect the receiver. And Part 3 will show you how to open remote access to the receiver. Part 1. Getting started. You will need a TEF chip-based receiver, a computer, a USB-C cable to connect a computer to it, a USB sound card and a 3.5mm to 3.5mm audio cable. If you are using a laptop or a computer that has a single, combo, audio jack, a cheap USB external sound card is the best solution to send audio from the receiver to the computer. This example is for Windows. Your TEF receiver needs firmware that allows computer connection. If your firmware is 2.0 or later, proceed. Many TEF receivers were shipped and continue to be shipped with firmware 1.18. In that case you will need to update the firmware. This video will assume that your TEF receiver has firmware 2.0 or later. Part 2. Connecting the TEF receiver to the computer. With the USB-C cable plugged into the computer, connect your TEF receiver. Your computer should assign a COM port for it. Take note of this COM port. If you don't know how to check the COM port, some instructions will be displayed next. In order to command the receiver from a computer, we need to establish a line of communication through which the commands and data will go back and forth. This is accomplished by a program called XDRD. Navigate to the XDRD repository and download the XDRD program. Detailed instructions will be shown next. While visiting the Discord group, you should also download the XDRGTK software, if you have not done that already. It allows you to connect to your TEF receiver in wired mode as well as via a Wi-Fi connection. Once you have XDRD download and unzipped, you can connect the TEF receiver to the computer and initiate a connection. The first step in part 3 is to install nodes.js. At this point we can proceed and download the TEF radio server. It will provide a web interface into the connection we just made between the TEF receiver and the computer. Let's continue with part 1. You will need to install FFMEPG. Your computer may already have it installed but if it doesn't, you will see a slide with instructions next. You are now running a server allowing a client computer to connect to your TEF receiver. Next you should plug in your USB sound card. Once recognized by your computer, the sound card will add a new microphone and new speakers. Open the sound settings of your computer and take note of the microphone that was just added. The 3.5mm audio cable will take sound out of the TEF receiver and feed it into the microphone input of the sound card. Before connecting to the server, some of its options need to be configured. To do this, open a browser from a computer on your home network. Type in the IP address of the computer where the server was installed and add port 8080 slash setup. Once logged in, update the options such as name and description of the server. In the audio section, there is a drop down to select which microphone to use for audio. Select the microphone from your sound card. In the XDRD section, provide the password that was set when you started XDRD. Save your options. From your local network, you should now be able to access your TEF server by entering the IP address of the computer running the server and specifying port 8080. 
If you would like your server to be accessible from anywhere on the internet, log into your home wireless router and create a port forwarding rule that ports 8080 and 8081 should be forwarded to the computer where the TEF server is running. You may consider signing up for a service that masks your home IP address. If you have been able to follow the instructions and got your TEF receiver on the air, congratulations. If you encountered problems along the way, join the Discord group and ask for help. Thank you and happy DX.